We are broadcasting live from Don't Ever Bank Here Field in Cracksome Skull, Florida, where elections can't be broken because <laughs> they're almost fixed. The fans are ready for some mutant football. Well, I'm going to make like a presidential election ballot and disappear because I got to pee. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the NFL. The team storm the field. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Crux and Skull Jugulars. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. The paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means MFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, Annie's wrestling? Second down and two. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. First down and six. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. What? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a sonic blast dirty first down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And 
he picks up four on that passing catch. Second down and six. Oh, and the defense jumps outside. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. Second down and six. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. And that'll bring up third and one. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. And he just wrestles away. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Head. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. You can tell he's a berserker because he's from it, and that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Third down and a sliver. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First down and six. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that too fast. <laughs> well, little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen. 
open, partner. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. It's anyone's game at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. Third and four. Like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hey, like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. For a nine yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. The quarterback just had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And a defending. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And 
and it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And like a monkey trying to... Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Your mother ever tell you don't run with a chainsaw? Oh, he just cremated that guy. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. First and four. And he runs it in for the touchdown. I never looked that good dancing, and I have skin. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Scrambler. And it's first and ten. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. Devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Just the, the quarterback is controlling the clock right now, like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Second down and two. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. And it's first and ten. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense couldn't do anything to stop a throw that good, Grim! You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Oh, I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, huh?
Well, little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and they stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Chris. I just made the end commentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Second down and more than the QB would like. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? <laughs> Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Air ball! Hey, did we start running ghosts into the MFL Grim? No, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. Second down and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck? The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Win, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I don't the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. Huh? Huh? Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First down and one. Huh? 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 
Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Hey, yeah, Briggs, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> first down in a mile. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll be second down and four. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a dumbest guy than a speed thing, friend. He's running from his team. It's clear. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And this guy is on fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Calling a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, and anything really tastes good. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ramming a ball and didn't fall down. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? Nicely done for a first down. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God! The defensive player looks like he's... This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Oh, oh. with the brain scrambler. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I know so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Third down and three. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Well, I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was tried. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothes. Oh, look at this guy break.
right tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. And it's first and ten. Scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. Second down in a very lot. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Third down, and the punter is warming up. I'm surprised no one uses the electric carving knife anymore, Brick. Disturbing. Get interesting. The ten. Here comes the defense. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. First and ten. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Second and three. And he finds open space, is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy, and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. ritualistic dance. Uh, Grim? The, uh, the crowd started chanting. Why, well, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> yes they did. We're, we're gonna go ahead and lock the announcer's booth until he's done dancing. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. 
The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got popped big time. Oh, my God! I thought his head was going to pop off like a big zit! And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. <laughs> and that is caught for a first down. <laughs> and that's it. That's the last timeout. It's score or die from here out. First down and five. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good! Man, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Briggs, it means he can return it for, you know what? Never mind. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. And the kick is good! When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. We're deadlocked with a tie score at the end of the fourth. And that can mean only one thing. Stay tuned because what the hell could be more important right now? Well, now that you mention it, Grim, I really need to hit the can. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Ah, uh, Grandma, I, I didn't understand any of that. Can you repeat it? Not a chance. And it's first and ten. He was 
starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, with the all-you-can-eat buffets, they're not as literal as you think. Second down and seven. And he gets three yards on that run. Third and four. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for ten yards. Second down and in inches. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and four. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And that'll be second down and four. Third down and, well, good luck. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. A routine field goal, but as you know, nothing is routine in this league. Cheered. It's good to be good, huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after 
have to trade Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down and five. He had it for a second there. Third down and five. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 20. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. And the jugulars got a taste of their own medicine, getting their jugular slashed and take a tough loss at home. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know what? That's a fair. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every...